whispering Wikipedia today we are whispering about the Lassa Abso dog now I've seen this dog around before and I've always been really weirded out by it but I love it um, it's so cute and it's so fluffy and hairy and it reminds me a little bit of like a very B grade like Star Trek or science fiction uh, animal dress up um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but there's an episode of Star Trek where they get a dog and then they put a horn on the dog's head like strap it on and that's meant to be the alien for the episode this um, is a little bit like that so, thank you so much to whoever it was who suggested that I should read about this breed of dog because I'm super excited. I love reading and learning, especially about dogs. And I hope that you enjoy this episode. If you have something you want me to read about, please leave it in the comments below. I read every single comment on my YouTube channel. Um, if you reply to a comment, it's harder for me to see it. Just because in the YouTube Creator Studio, replies don't come up in the unanswered comment section. But new comments do, so please leave me a new comment if you want to say anything. And I'm so happy to talk to you, to see how you're going. I try to upload daily, so I would love to get to know you be your friend and to see how you're going on a daily basis. Now without any further or do, let's get on to this whispering Wikipedia about the Lassa Abso. Please remember I don't know how to pronounce any scientific names or terminology. My brain is a bit, you know. Now, the Lassa Abso. The Lassa Abso is a non-sporting dog breed originating in Tibet. It was bred as an interior sentinel in the Buddhist monasteries to alert the monks to any intruders who entered. Guard dog. Lhasa is the capital city of Tibet and Apso is a word from the Tibetan language. There is some debate over the exact origin of the name. Some claim that the word Apso is an anglicized form of the Tibetan word goat, goatee, ag shom, or perhaps rafo, meaning billy goat. It does look a little bit like a goat. It may also be a compound noun meaning bark, guard, or to bark, or and so to guard. Interesting. Now let's briefly describe its appearance. Male Lhasa Apsos should ideally be about 10.75 inches, which is 27.3 centimeters. So almost a ruler, not very big. At the withers and weigh about 14 to 18 pounds, which is 6.4 to 8.5. The females are slightly smaller and weigh between 12 to 14 pounds, which is 5.4 to 6.4 kilograms. The breed standard requires dark brown eyes and a black nose, although liver-colored lasses have a brown nose. The texture of the coat is heavy, straight hard, neither woolly nor silky, and dense. They come in a wide variety of colors, including black, white, red, and gold, with various shadings. Lessers can be with or without dark tips at the end of the ears and beards. The tail should be carried well over the dog's back. The breed standard currently used by the American Kennel Club was approved on July 11th, 1978. Now, moving on to temperament. A 
having been bred as an indoor monastery sentinel dog by Tibetan Buddhist monks, lesser apsos are alert with a keen sense of hearing. The ideal lesser temperament is to be wary of strangers while being loyal to those closest to them. Left untrained, they can be very aggressive to strangers. They rank 68th out of 79 in Stanley Corrin's The Intelligence of Dogs, being of fair working obedience intelligence. Lassa Apsos are independent as well as very loyal and eager to please dogs, yet they may be suspicious towards strangers. While us Apsos show loyalty to their owners, they will let their masters know when they don't want to do something. They will lie flat without moving, put on the brakes, and refuse to walk or try to back away. Time and patience will build trust between the lesser and the owner. A lesser Apso responds to exercise and discipline with calm, assertive energy. These dogs require early socialization with dogs and other people as puppies and throughout their lives. Because Lhasa Apsos are independent and intelligent breed, house training puppies requires consistency. They require patience and may be slow to house train, but in return they can be quite comical, entertaining and caring companions. They aim to please their owners and enjoy training. While their personalities believe their size, they need a home that is mindful that there is a small dog in the house to prevent injury. They enjoy vantage points in the house where they can view all that is going on. The Lhasa Apso is a long-lived breed, with many living in good health into their early twenties. The average age for these dogs is 12 to 14. There are few health problems specific to the breed. Their vision may deteriorate with age, but they are not sight-oriented dogs and endure blindness with few noticeable changes in behavior. Wow, that's super interesting. Wow. The Lhasa Apso originated on the Himalayan Plateau in the area of Tibet. They were domesticated and actively bred perhaps as long ago as 800 BC, which makes the Lhasa Apso one of the oldest recognized breeds in the world. The Lhasa's primary function was that of a household sentinel, guarding the homes of Tibetan nobility and Buddhist monasteries, in or near the sacred city of Lhasa. The large Tibetan mastiffs guarded the monastery's entrances, but the keen hearing and sharp bark of the Lhasa Apso served to warn residents by acting like a burglar alarm if an intruder happened to get past exterior guards. Wow! I love hearing about the purposes behind them and how well they serve for their purpose. It's so interesting. It was believed that the bodies of Las Apsos could be entered by souls of deceased lamas while they awaited rebirth into a new body. Lasses in Tibet were never sold. The only way a person could get one was a gift. Interesting. In the early 1900s, a few of the breed were bought by military men returning from the Indian subcontinent to England, where the breed was referred to as the Lhasa Terrier. The original American pair of Lhasas was a gift from Thubden Gayatso, 13th Dalai Lama, to C. Soydam Cutting, arriving in the United States in 19. 33. Interesting. Mr. Cutting had traveled to in Tibet and met the Dalai Lama there. At this time there was only one Lhasa Apso registered in England. The breed was at first called the Lhasa Terrier, later the Lhasa Apso. The American Kennel 
layers. The lasso has a double coat, an undercoat to keep them warm, and an outer coat consisting of guard hairs for protection and aiding to keep their coat flat and smooth. The outer coat consisting of the guard hair should be similar to human hair. One should be able to feel individual hair strands when touched, while the undercoat is softer and finer. It should lie flat and blend with the outer coat. Routine brushing and bathing are necessary, not only to keep up the slow, continuous shedding, but also to remove any dirt and debris that may get caught within the hair strands. A lasso with thick, coarse outer coat will likely require less grooming than a lasso with a lot of undercoats and soft, less coarse top. Absu's health. The Lassa Absu is prone to a few health problems, but is still very healthy. For example, it is susceptible to sebaceous adenitis, a hereditary skin disease that occurs primarily in standard poodles, but has been also reported in a number of other breeds, including the Lassa Absu. They are also prone to the genetic disease progressive retinal atrophy, PRA, which can render them blind. Responsible breeders have their breeding dogs checked yearly by a canine ophthalmologist to check that they are not developing the disease, which is heritable in offspring. Lassa absos are also prone to eye diseases, such as cherry eye and conjunctivitis sicca, KCS or dry eye syndrome. A 2004 Kennel Club survey puts the median lifespan of the breed at 14 years, 4 months. The UK Vet Clinic data puts the median at 13 years. While regarded as many as a lap dog, Lassa Aptos do require daily exercise by play and walks to maintain physical health and mental well-being. Now finally, we finish this Wikipedia by looking at the Lassa Aptos impact in popular culture. In the animated series Spider-Man and his amazing friends, Angelica Jones slash Firestar owns a lasso Apso named Miss Leon or Miss Lion. In the television series The L Word, Helena is assured by her wealthy mother that, that she was going to leave her inheritance to her, not to her lasso Apsos. Homer Simpson has a lasso Apso in the episode Three Gays in a Condo. Lassa Apsos are said to bring luck, hence the saying, Lucky Lassa. Actress, singer-songwriter Kiki Palmer has a Lassa Apso named Rust. Peg, in the 2019 remake of The Lady and the Tramp, is a Lassa Apso. In the original film, she was a Beganese. A Lassa Apso is both a major character and a plot device in the 1948 children's novel Daughter of the Mountains by Louise Rankin. In the Flash animation series Princess, a Lassa Apso plays the titular character. And gospel artist Gerard Wolfe has a Lassa Apso named Wookie. Now, Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Whispering Wikipedia. This was a totally fun one and I really enjoyed learning about this super weird looking um, type of dog that kind of looks a little bit like an Ewok from Star Wars mixed with a goat and a mop. So, thank you for whoever suggested this and I hope that maybe you learned something.